Hi, welcome to all of you. I am Vasantha from Gopal Swami P.O. College, Mysore. Today we are going to start with a chapter called as Logic Gate. What do you mean by Logic Gate? What are the main uses of Logic Gate that you will study on this chapter? The total weightage of this chapter is totally 4 marks on your annual exam. Out of 4 marks, 3 marks, 1 question they will ask as well as 1 marks, 1 question they will ask. Totally 4 marks weightage you have on this chapter. On this chapter, it's very easy chapter and you will study how to write the circuit diagram, which are the basic gates, which are the derived gates, what is the another name for basic gates, derived gate, write the circuit diagram, universal gates, regarding that you will study on this chapter. Already you come to know? Total weightage is 4 marks out of 4 marks, 3 marks 1 question, 1 marks 1 question. Then what do you mean by gates first of all that you will study? What do you mean by gate? Gate is simply an electronic circuit. It takes one or more input signal and it produces only one output signal. Minimum it takes one input and maximum also only one output you will get. It means that gate is an electronic circuit it takes one or more where it will be two three more anything one or more input signal and it produces only one output signal in this logic gates there are two types of gates one is basic gates there are two types of gates one is basic gates and another one is derived gate there are two types of gates first one is basic gates and the second one is derived gates in the basic gates you will get three types one is and gate second one is or gate and the last one is not gate these are the basic gates and gate or gate as well as not gate in the derived gates also we will get several types the first one is NAND NAND gate NAND gate is a combination of NOT gate and AND gate NAND gate and the next one is NOR gate it is a combination of NOT gate as well as OR gate next one XOR gate XOR gate and the last one XNOR gate XNOR gate these are the few derived gates basic gates and derived gates these are the two types of gates whereas in basic gates and or not gates in and gate we are using the symbol is dot in between the operands variable dot operator we are using to represent it is an and operation whereas for or we are using plus symbol to represent it is a or gate in between the variable Whereas for NOT gate is also called as inverter gate. Here if you want you can use negation form. Otherwise if you use the bar format also to represent the operation. And or NOT. These are the basic gates. And derived gates are basically derived from basic gates only. It takes the help of basic gates then it is derived. That's why it is called as derived gates. See NAND gate. It is derived from two. One is NOT gate. Yeah, the first one represents NOT gate and the second one represents AND gate. It is derived from the help of basic gates. That's why it is called as derived gates. NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, XNOR gate. These are the derived gates. First one by one we will discuss. First we will discuss about AND gate. In the beginning only I told you AND gate there we are using the symbol dot operator to represent the operation. To write this we are using symbol D shape. See first minimum two inputs it, re it requires. For example A and B are the two inputs. Here to represent this symbol is D shape. At the end one single line. Then what is the output? Compulsory in your mind you have to keep that. Here we are using D shape to represent the operation. To represent a symbol. Minimum two input requires. For AND gate or gate. For these two we require minimum two input. Whereas for NOT gate maximum itself. We require only one input and the output is also only one output. Here for example if it is two variable A and B. 
then to represent that with the symbol D shape and the output is A dot B for two variable. For example, if you have three variable A, B, C, one is A, B and one more is C, three variables. Everything once again we have to represent with the help of D shape, then output is A dot B dot C is the output. These are the symbols here. This symbol is used to represent for two variable and this symbol is used to represent three variables. Then how to write the truth table for this one? For example, for two variables. See, consider for two variables. For two variables, we get totally four combination. For example, A and B become the input. Then what is the output? Here already I told you, in between the variable we have to use dot operator. Then output become A dot B. B become the output. Then to represent the operation 2 zeros 2 1 because we have only two variables then maximum will get only four combinations 2 zeros and 2 1 0 1 0 1. Then how put here dot operation in your mind you have to keep when it is end operation when all the inputs are 1 then only the output become 1 otherwise it becomes 0 in end operation. Otherwise, in blind method, in your mind, you can keep it multiplication operation. 0 into 0, the output becomes 0 only. 0 into 1, multiplication format. 0 into 1, it is nothing but 0 only. Any number multiplied with 0 is called as 0 only. That's why 0 into 1, the output becomes 0 only. Here, 1 into 0, then once again, output is 0 only. 1 into 1. It is nothing but one output. Here we will get the output one only when all the inputs are one. Otherwise, we will get zero. This is the two table for two variables. Now the same thing we will explain once again. True table for three variables. How to write the true table for three variables? For example, consider we have the variables A, B, C. See here true table it is symbol for two variables and this is true table for two variables in and operation then if it is three variables a b c then what is the output we will get a dot b dot c become the output then here maximum four combination will get here see first time write down eight times zero eight times one otherwise four times zero four times one like that in your mind you have to keep then here four times zero one 2, 3, 4 times 0. Then 4 times 1. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 0, 4 times 1. Here next. 2 times 0, 1, 2. Then next 2 times 1. 1, 1. Next 2 times 0, 2 times 1. Next alternative. 0, 1. 0, 1. 0, 1. 0, 1. 0, 1. Whereas in end operation, when all the inputs are 1, then only the output become 1. Otherwise, it becomes 0. See the first operation, 0 into 0 into 0, once again it is 0 only. 0 into 0 into 1, here 1 time minimum we have 0, then the output become 0 only here also. Whereas here 0 into 1 into 0, then output is once again 0, because here we have two zeros. Then here 0 into 1 into 1. But here we have 0, that's why the output once again 0. 1 into 0 into 0, then output becomes 0. 1 into 0 into 1, here we have 0, then output once again it is 0. 1 into 1 into 0, here once again we have 0, that's why the output becomes 0. Here 1 into 1 into 1, all the inputs are 1, then only the output becomes 1, otherwise it is 0 in AND operation. From this you come to know that in AND operation, if all the inputs are 1, then only the output become 1. Otherwise, it is 0. Now, you have started regarding AND GATE, the symbol, how to write the symbol, as well as truth table for AND GATE. Next, you will study regarding OR GATE, how to write the symbol, as well as truth table for OR GATE. First, how to write the symbol for this, that you will study here. The first one, OR GATE for two variables, see. Minimum two inputs we required here A and B. Then here the output. Here compulsory to write reverse C shape. Whereas for AND gate we use write D shape. But here reverse C shape then you have to connect this. Then finally the output. 
here while writing the output in between the variables we have to write plus symbol a plus b whereas in the previous case what we are written a dot b we written whereas here if it is when it is or operation then here we have to write a plus b when it is two variable now if you have three variables for example a b c three variables then a b c all the things once again has to connect with the reverse c shape then write down the output here what is the output we will get a plus b plus c this is the symbol for two variables especially for or gate this is the symbol for three variables in or gate then how to write the truth table for this two variables once again take one example here two variables two variables means we will get only four combination a b what is the output we will get whereas in and gate a dot b become the output whereas in or gate a plus b 20 and 21 01 01 whereas in this case in or operation if any one of the input is 1 the output become 1 if any one of the input is 1 the output become 1 if all the inputs are 0 only on that case the output become 0 here in your mind plus means or generally you can keep or anta nuvaga kannadalli idu mattu idu anta heltivi is it no and then all the things idu athava idu or and anta heluvaga idu mattu anta heltivi idu idu athava anta heltivi if any one of the input is one the output become one whereas in and operation idu mattu anta heltivi idralli idu athava anta heltivi whereas here if any one of the input is true the output become true see zero plus zero All the inputs are zero. Then output becomes zero only. Zero plus one. One input is one. We are get. Idu attava anta helu helu vaga. Then if this one or this one, if any one of the input is true, output becomes true only. Here zero plus one, the output becomes one. One plus zero, the output becomes one. One plus one, the output becomes one here. Minimum one time if we get one, the output becomes one. If all the inputs are zero, only on that case the output is zero here. Now is it clear? This is the true table for two variable. In the same way, we can write the true table for three variables also. Same pattern. How we are written the same previous case? In the same pattern, write down a, b, c. Three variables. What is the output here? We will get a plus b plus c is the output. Then here four times zero one two three four four times zero then write down four times one one two three four next two times zero two times one zero zero one one zero zero one one. What else here once again zero one zero one zero one zero one. Now see the first case zero plus zero plus zero. Here all the inputs are. Zero. That's why output become zero. Or and under mandal it ko beko. Idu atta vanta healthy. And under idu matto unta healthy. Whereas in and case all the inputs are one, then only the output become one. Otherwise zero. Whereas in or case, if any one of the input is true, the output become true. Whereas in the first case, all the inputs are zero. That's why the output become zero here. Next. Zero plus zero plus one. What is the output here? We'll get one because one time we have one. Here also one time we have one. Here two time we have one. Then also it is one only. Here one time we have one. Here also we have two times one. In this also we have two times one. In the last case all the three are one. This is the true table for three variables. This is the symbol. For two variable in OR gate, this is the symbol for three variables in OR gate. This is the true table for two variable. This is the true table for three variable. In the exam, they will going to ask. For example, already in the beginning, I told you total weightage of this chapter is four marks. Out of four marks, one marks one question, three marks one question. Is it no? Whereas in the exam, in previous year they ask write the symbol for OR gate for two variables. Like that they may going to ask. Otherwise, write the symbol. 
for three variables in AND gate, in OR gate like that in the exam they will go to ask. Otherwise they will go to ask, write the truth table for two variable in AND gate, write the truth table for two variables in OR gate like that they will go to ask in the annual exam. Otherwise what is the another name for NOT gate or maximum how many inputs we required in NOT gate like that in the exam they will go to ask. Now you come to know how to write the symbol for OR gate as well as NOT gate. Now I am going to explain how to write NOT gate. What is the symbol there we are using? How to represent the truth table? Whereas in the beginning itself I told you how to write the NOT gate. Is it no? NOT gate. What is the another name for NOT gate? NOT gate another name is inverter gate. Their symbol if I want I can use negation or inverter symbol also I can use. Now to represent the symbol maximum itself only one input here we required for example if a is the input to represent the symbol first you have to write one triangle at the end you have to write one circle then one line this is the symbol for one variable if you have two variables then also you have to convert it to one variable then only you can able to process see if a is the input then a bar become the output for example if you have b then once again triangle shape at the end circle then output your B bar. This is the symbol. In the three years back they asked the question when which gate we are using maximum only one input like that they may go to ask. See maximum only one input and only one output we will get in NOT gate. Here the output will display in such a way that if input is true the output is false. If the input is false, the output is true. It means that in the reverse format, we will get the output. For example, see only one variable I told you. The maximum two combination will get A and output become A bar. See, 0 and 1. If input is 0, the output become 1. If input is 1, the output become 0. If you want, you can write in another way also. See, a, A bar, true, false also you can write. If you want you can write on the place of 1 you can write true. On the place of 0 you can write false. If input is true the output become false. If the input is false the output become true. Just reverse, not gate, inversing gate. These are the few basic gates we are using. Whereas logic gates is nothing but it is an electronic circuit. It takes one or more input signals and it produces only one output signal. There are two types basic gates and one more is derived gates. In the basic gates we have AND gate, OR gate and one more is NOT gate. Whereas in derived gates NAND gate, NOR gate, XOR gate, X NOR gate. These are the few derived gates because it derived from the basic gates that is why it is called as derived gates. Then in basic gates we are using symbol dot minimum two inputs we required. In OR gate we are using the operator here plus symbol in between the variables and OR gate. Whereas for NOT gate it is a negation gate, inverter gate, just a reverse of the input. These are the few basic gates. In the next class I am going to explain which are the derived gates, the symbol that I am going to explain. Thank you.